What's up YouTube? This is Phil from MDC and like promised I do have finally the complete set of Hot Wheels convertible series. Okay. Uh, there is a, this is a set of 10 cars. Okay, here's the back. And finally I have completed it. Okay. So we have the Mustang. We have the 69 Camaro, we have the 55 Corvette, we have the C6 Corvette, the 64 Lincoln Continental, 67 Pontiac GTO, 49 Mercury, Nice to see this casting again. Porsche Boxster Spider. The one I was missing. The Pagani Wire Roadster. That was a hard one for me to find. Well, my buddy found it for me, actually. And the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Okay. So these are the 10 cars that we're going to take a look at. And uh, let's get to it. So we'll start off with number one from this set, which is the 65 Ford Mustang convertible. Okay, there's a bit of the art there. I showed you guys the art there before anyways. Good to see this casting come back again. This was uh, one that also made uh, Treasure Hunt and Super Treasure Hunt. Back in, I believe, 2008. Uh maybe 2009 2010 actually and this is in some kind of burgundy it's almost like a deep burgundy red it's very nice white interior white stripes five spoke tires well five spoke rims very nicely done nice uh plastic uh, chrome base white stripe on the side very nicely done casting. As I said, it's a nice uh, nice Mustang to come back. I'm glad to see it. This one here was probably... Yeah, there's a good chance. Yeah, this is probably going to be my favorite one out of the set, guys. Is the uh, 69 Camaro SS. Okay. Get this guy open. I've got a lot of videos to do, guys. I'm backed up. I've got piles of cars. Anyways, we'll get into that later. This one looks great. Let me uh, settle this in, guys. I don't think you see it well enough. Let's just bring it in a bit more. Off you go, off to the races. And there she is. Okay, you see a little better there? You got these deep dish rims, which is really cool. Love the deep dish rims when Hot Wheels does that on muscle cars. It looks great. Obviously, we have no detail in the back, which I don't understand, okay, because this set is not the same price as the regular main lines. It's a little bit uh, more expensive. I figured maybe they should give a little bit more detail, but they didn't. Still, overall, I mean, the car looks great in this yellow, and the mag choice is very nice. Black interior. Overall. Very nicely done casting. Black base, nice tub tires. Very nice. Okay. Next we have the 55 Corvette. Okay. There's the art. This is another casting I you don't see very often. I believe I only have one other version of this Corvette in blue with white stripes and it's it's an old uh, an older one. And then they came up with this one here in this cream color. Red interior. Gives it a very vintage look with these uh, disc wheels. Now you do have the chrome insert, so I guess the base is chrome. Yeah, and it's even metal, you see. This one's copyright date is 2012. And it has the metal base. Very cool, very cool. 
Very nice casting. So the front grille is part of the base. Very well done. Next number four is the Corvette C6, which is a casting that we've seen multiple, multiple times. I've even had to stop collecting this casting because there's just too many. And here we go with these five spoke rims in the black. Now this one you have headlight detail. And uh, do we have back detail? I'm not that sure. You have the emblem in the front. You have the side markers, which is pretty cool. And no, we don't have detail in the back. This one has the plastic base. Yep, it's a typical Corvette, guys. Next, we have the Lincoln. The Lincoln Continental. And this is a casting we don't see all that often. It used to be the older Hot Wheels that used to put this out quite often. And then we haven't seen it in a while. There she is. Now there's a white version of this. An older white version I have. I don't know when it came out, but uh, it's a sought after piece as well. And this one in this metallic blue is no shame. It looks great. Looks like a low rider car. You got your 10 spokes. Baby blue interior. Chrome base. Plastic. Very nicely done, this car. Next, we have the GTO. 67 Pontiac GTO. Convertible. And this two-tone, well, that's not really two-tone, no, sorry, it's striped. So you have the red with black stripes. Now this one's a bit jacked up in the back. It's actually the one thing that kind of throws me off on this casting. If it's sat a little bit low, I think it would be a lot better, this casting. So you got your big wheels in the back, small wheels in the front, and that's what gives it that back rake. Black interior. The paint is nice. The rim choice is nice. Even the striping is nice. Overall, it's a nice looking car. Just the way it sits kind of, kind of bothers me a little bit. But anyway, that's my opinion. <coughs> Sorry again. Next one, we have the 49 Mercury. Now, this is the... First time since the 2011 treasure hunt that I get this car. The last time I bought this car was 2011. That uh, regular in the super treasure hunt. Came in a brown. This one in this green kind of looks pretty cool. I'm not really that crazy about the, uh, the graphics. I think the graphics are a little too much, to be honest with you, in my opinion. But the disc wheels look great. Side pipes look great. White interior. Chrome bumpers. You got the headlight detail. Everything's there. But I just don't like the stripes, okay? The stripes, uh, it's, it's, it's really a bit too busy for me. Why didn't you want to sit? Stay. Yeah. It's a bit too busy for me. I do love this color, though. This green color looks great. You got this metallic green, which looks pretty phenomenal. White interior does match the green. Overall, the car is nice, but without the striping, I think the car would be a lot nicer. That's my opinion. And what do we have next? Next, we have the Porsche Boxster Spider. Okay, there's the card art. You guys seen it already. I showed it to you. This is also a nice car in this set. And there you go. Very simple. 
very clean stripe on the side porsche written headlight detail the emblems i like the black spoke uh, wheels with the white paint black interior no rear detail i mean there's such minimal striping on this car they could have put the rear detail but anyway nice looking casting i mean it does look perfect the casting itself is well executed okay now for the one that was eluding me for so long thanks to my friend i was able to complete the set and here it is the wyra and this is the roadster okay because it's the convert well it's the one without the top so it's called the roadster in this flashy purple there she is stay thank you very much now we have slight orange striping on the front you see the, that cuts the hood and uh, the hood in half and on the back and that's it so you have that black plastic uh is it plastic let's just double check before i say that no it's a stripe okay so you do have a black stripe that goes straight down the back and the front separated with this little tinge of orange it's pretty cool this one here we have the front detail yeah we have headlight detail we have rear light detail and i want to just show you guys the interior because i find that these seats are really well done you see that and look at that paint look at that paint sparkle it's a pretty cool purple it's a pretty cool purple and they gave it this gold 10 spoke rims overall the casting is very nice now guys for the least favorite out of the set is this kind of goofy looking jaguar f-type project 7 now uh, it kind of looks like a cross between a miata and a miniature aston martin i don't know it's kind of weird looking anyways i don't know uh jaguar sometimes uh i don't know what they're thinking but anyway here you go and the silver colored it's a uh, gloss silver stripe on the hood you do have front uh, headlight detail the mag choice is pretty good but you know they give it these big wheels in the back and small wheels in the front which i just don't understand i mean a car like this really should have all the the same size wheels all around no back detail the interior is done very nicely The wheels are black five spoke black base paint is very nice it's just the model of car i'm not not 100 percent crazy about it guys anyways there you go guys that's your 10 car set of the convertible series which i don't see a lot in the stores i really don't uh I don't think a lot of these will come out yet or um, or if they are going to uh, come out a lot because uh, I've only found this set and I haven't seen any other ones. So if you guys have been lucky, great. Let me know in the comments. And if you like this set, let me know as well. All right. So next time I've got a pile of stuff to look at, guys. I, I did pass by a, a guy I know. He opened up a hobby store. Well, not a guy I really know, but I mean a guy that, uh, anyways, someone, someone we know had opened a, a hobby store and uh, he, he just had so many Hot Wheels and I, I just I walked in and I bought all kinds of stuff. So I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys. I've got probably another three decent videos of some really older stuff. 
Uh, I've got some uh, old Ferraris, uh, Lamborghinis, uh, just to let you know, I mean, I did pick up this guy here. All right, that's just a showcase of what's to come. And, uh, you know, I got some Zamax. Uh, I've got uh, all kinds of Roadrunners. You know, I collect Roadrunners, so I picked up a pile of Roadrunners, all loose. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Those are some other videos. Okay, so till next time, guys. Be safe, be well, happy hunting, and uh, thanks for your subscriptions, by the way. And uh, for, you, the, for those of you that are not, please subscribe. Thank you.